where he has to feel awfully good oh, to finally get you know what? You can tell that just based by the smile on <laughs> Coach Weigel's face right now. You, It hasn't come off I since the final it, whistle. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. That's the truth. Coach, you were here three years ago. Your team went against Penn State Barron with the conference title on the line. It did not turn out the way you wished. I, I think probably a little overmatched that year. Yes. How, how sweet is it to, to get this victory and now finally claim a conference title? I mean, it's unbelievable. Um, I've been telling everybody, even just walking across the field, I feel like I'm floating. Uh, you know, it hasn't quite hit me yet, you know, that we won this game. Um, but, you know, to take down a team, too, that, that's won eight straight championships that have been the cream of the crop year in and year out in the conference, you know, it, it couldn't be anybody else. It had to be Baron and... It's just, it feels really, really good. Really good. The start to these halves for your team, very impressive. You score less than two minutes in the first, courtesy of Grimm, and then Lucas on the PK less than five minutes into the second half. So how are you able to have such quick success in each half? I think they're just excited. Excited to be playing in a championship. Excited for the opportunity. And, you know, like caged animals. So you open the door, they came flying out in that first half and then the second half too. Um, it was our goal and our game plan to kind of play in their end a lot, get the ball to the end line, attack that end line, force them to, to kind of knock the ball, win corner kicks, uh, and just be dangerous. And, you know, that's what we did right at the beginning of the game. We get to the end line, we swing that ball across, Allie gets on the end of it, and then, uh, you know, Ashley and everybody just fighting. Um, we knew Ashley put that in if we got an opportunity like that. A lot of corner kicks today yeah. once again for your squad. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, it's a way to, to, to kind of bend a team out of shape, um, get them out of their formation, play some dangerous balls in, and, and the way we play, getting to that end line, we, we have a tendency to win a lot. You know, we got to be up around 150 now on the season, so that's a good thing for us. Coach, when you mentioned that it was the, the, the standard bearer, if you will, in Penn State Baron as the opponent, Maybe you wouldn't have had as much concern if it was other teams, but was there a little bit of nervousness after they pulled within one with still about 13 minutes left? Yeah, I'm going to be honest, there was. I think it's the fact that they've been here before. They've been in this situation and, and you know, always seem to fight back. And, you know, it just we had to stay in it. We had to stay focused. And we had to be organized defensively because they were putting a lot of pressure on Um especially when they were in our end. It was tough to get the ball out, and, you know, when we're, we're only up one goal and we were playing in our end. Things got a little nervous there. It seemed once they scored mm -hmm. their each goal, they started to really, really pressure you yeah. offensively. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think it was kind of a back-and-forth game. When we were playing their end for most of the part, uh, portions, we were getting good opportunities. Um, it was tough for them to get out, and as soon as they kind of – uh, turned the tables on us. We had that same same issue. It was tough getting out, and it was, you know, they had a nice break there where they got a couple players free and a good combination play and, and broke us down. That being said, you had to love the last two or three minutes where you guys basically just pinned it in the corner and, and milked that clock. It was awesome. Um, we the first time we played them, we had to do something similar. Just try to you know end the game, kill the clock. Um, this game though, I think. Mainly because, you know, we have our baseball team, our basketball team all down in that corner rooting them on, all the parents. Yeah, nice uh, crowd here go. today. Oh, it was awesome. Um, the support that we had was amazing. Um, but I think that made it even a little bit better. We're killing the clock. Every time the ball gets knocked out, they're screaming. You know, it, it was awesome. So what's the schedule from here on out? Uh, we should find out who we play tomorrow. Um, selection day is tomorrow. And then uh, we should be either playing the 16th or the 17th. So we'll have a week to prepare for whoever we're stepping out against. So how does Coach Weigel celebrate? Oh, not sleep for three days? No, I might <laughs> actually sleep because it's been tough to tough to get those Z's in these last couple days. You know, excited for this game. Um, spend some time with family, hang out with the coaches a little bit, and get ready for the next game that's coming up. Coach, thank you so much for the time. Anyone you want to shout out? Because I know it's, it's certainly a team effort to get here. Uh, shout out to all my coaches. Shout out to this team for everything that they did. Thank you so much to the administration, faculty, staff members that, that were out at this game in the semifinal and continue to show us support. And, and a big shout out to, to that crowd and that fan section, all the students that were down there in that corner. That was absolutely awesome and something that the girls needed for this game. Thank, thank you so you. much, Coach, for taking the time. Congratulations once again on claiming the first title in program history. Thank you so much. Very proud. All right.